Yo, what's going on everyone? Impulse here and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Price Tag. Today I've got a battle with Astra and of course I've got all these little mons on the line. Of course, if Astra wins, they'll be going to a new home and if not, you've got the chance to get them as well. So if you want to be entered into the long queue at the moment, you can leave your FC down below with your time zone and friend code. As for today's battle, I'm going to be using this team again, as I didn't really get to showcase it very much in the last battle. Uh, but it consists of Heatran, Shinotic, Mandibuzz, Sceptile, Magnazone and Gyarados. And my opponents bring in Lopine, Howlucha, Toxipex, Katana, Houndoom and Excadrill. So some of those mons are pretty intimidating. So if you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to hit that like button. And without further ado, let's jump into this battle. So Astra issues the challenge and it looks like we're going to be in for a rough one. So I'm going to lead out with Heatran. And my opponent leads out with a Lopunny. So Lopunny lead was a bit surprising to me. Uh, I'm going to switch out because I don't really know what this thing wants to do. So I'm just going to go into Mandibuzz because I've got a Rocky Helmet and I know that I can get some recoil off on it. Lopunny's going to Mega Revolve, and um, I'm kind of expecting the fake out, it's pretty obvious, but I didn't know if it was just going to go straight for a high jump kick or do something crazy, uh, so I played it safe, and uh, safety pays off, we get some recoil, and um, that's good for us. So now it's got to withdraw, and it goes out into Toxipex, so I'm going to have to make a switch as well, and uh, I'm going to go out into Gyarados. I'm going to drop its attack, that was in prediction of the Ice Punch, uh, just in case it was coming. I didn't want to get Ice Punched, I'd rather take a neutral hit at minus one. And uh, now we're in the same position as the previous battle. So I'm going to set up a substitute knowing that um, this guy can't do anything. And uh, it goes for a Scald, and it's not going to break the sub of course, and we're going to get the leftovers back. So a familiar scene happens once again. I'm just going to go for a Dragon Dance, figuring I've got nothing better to do. Might as well get some uh, pluses before I go on the uh, Onslaught. And uh, this thing's going to go for a Scald, and it's going to continue to try breaking that sub. It's not going to break the sub though, and we're going to be able to live three Scalds, which is good information. So my opponent switches out and goes into Howlucha. And uh, I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and uh, it's going to catch me with my pants down. It's not going to happen, and that's quite upsetting. So now I'm stuck behind this sub still, so I don't really have much to worry about, as it goes for a U-turn. Uh, I know that Howlucha is faster than me, because I've only got one plus on the Dragon Dance. Um, but that's not too big of a problem. So I'm just going to go for the Waterfall, and uh, try to take Howlucha down. Obviously, it had plans, and there's a switch back out into Toxipex. So it does decent amount of damage even though it's resisted. So I'm just going to get that um, HP back up. And considering that Toxipex is back out, I have got nothing to fear by setting up another substitute. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Toxipex goes for the Baneful Bunker, probably predicting the attack. But I'm not playing those games, I'd rather have my bonuses and uh, yeah, a nice bit of safety. So now I can't be scalded again. And uh, no attack drops coming this way, and that's all good for me. We're both going to get a little bit of HP back, and then I'm going to go for a second Dragon Dance, because I figured I want to outspeed that Howlucha. So I get another Dragon Dance up, raise my attack, raise my speed, and things are looking up. But unfortunately, my opponent's Toxipex has got Haze, so I know that I, um, I can't go Greedy, and I'm just going to have to settle for the 1+. plus. I figure if I get another plus one from another Dragon Dance, my opponent will be a force to use Haze again, and that'll give me a free attack on it. But that's not going to happen, and um, they're going to withdraw and go out into Howlucha. So I'm going to go for that Dragon Dance anyway, and uh, I'm going to get some bonuses back up, which is never a bad thing. So I get my bonuses and leftovers kicking, and now we're faced with the same situation as we was last turn. Or at least a couple of turns ago. Uh, but this time, Howlucha just goes for acrobatics, it wants to break that sub, I guess it was worried that it didn't 
wouldn't break it at, uh, with a U-turn, not very effective. And I'm going to be able to fire off a massive uh, waterfall, which brings it so close to being a KO, but not quite there. So, Howlooch is on its last legs, and uh, I don't want Gyarados to go down, so I'm not going to get greedy. I'm just going to go out into Mandibuzz and uh, tank whatever hit this wants to do to me. Of course, the Sky Attack pops, uh, not expecting that to be honest, but it's fine. It's fine. The Power Herb's going to pop, and it's going to be able to attack in one turn. And it's going to do a good amount of damage. I jump kick its, and uh, yeah, it'll go down to that rocket helmet, like I said. Of course, Sky Attack does not make contact, so it didn't happen to the first attack. But I'm going to be able to roost off the damage from high jump kick and from the previous attacks, and uh, put my Mandibuzz back up at a good position. So I know that it's going to be able to take some more hits, and uh, Toxpex is going to come back out. I'm not exactly sure what this thing wants to do, but I'm going to switch out and go into Shinotic, and I'm going to play it safe. So here comes an incoming Scald. I was kind of expecting it, but I wasn't 100% sure just in case. So I took the resisted hit and uh, I was kind of scared of getting the burn on Gyarados, so I didn't go straight back out into it. Uh, but we see that Shinotic doesn't get burned. So I'm going to go back out now into Magnazone. So Magnazone's going to hit the field. I figured there'd be a switch or something, I wasn't really sure. But now, in comes Excadrill. Of course, I predict this, and I've got a choice scarf, so I'm going to go for Hidden Power on the fire side, and it's going to do amazing damage. Unfortunately, um, I don't want to risk it being a choice scarf. So I'm going to go out into Gyarados and drop that attack and avoid an earthquake that may or may not be coming. So it does come and uh, we avoid that nicely and now I'm free to do whatever I want to do again. Take a risk and uh, hope that it is actually a um, choice scarf and I'm going to go for my substitute. So out comes Toxipex and uh, we get the sub up which is always good. So I'm, I'm playing behind Gyarados quite a lot. Uh, it's a big problem to deal with. And it's just so much better than uh, the Mega. But anyway, a switch is going to be made and Lopany is going to come out. Mega Bun Buns is here. And uh, I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. So I'm going to be able to get my plus attack and plus speed yet again. And get some leftovers recovery, which is always good. Uh, this thing's faster than me, but it cannot make me flinch behind a sub. So, um, yeah, I don't really care about the fake out. It'll break it, but I'm going to be able to fire off a waterfall. And uh, Lopany is not exactly the bulkiest mon, so it's going to go down. So we're taking care of all the sweepers, which is really nice. And um, unfortunately, though, I am a little bit exposed. Gyarados, no sub. And uh, out comes this guy. So uh, Katana's here. And I'm not really um, sure which move he's going to go for. Kind of hoping that he goes for the Leaf Blade. Just for that stab. And uh, he does go for the Leaf Blade. So I'm able to uh, come in and um, potentially trap him. Uh, unfortunately though, I do my EVs wrong on my Magna Zone. And uh, I do not outspeed the Katana. I'm supposed to be... Um, one point faster than, I'm actually supposed to be three points faster than this thing. Uh, but I messed up really badly. Um, and the scaling, obviously, from level 100 to 50 also reduces it, like crunches it down. So I lose my, um, Pokemon for no reason. But it's fine, because out comes, uh, Sceptile and Omega's coming along. And I'm just going to go for a Focus Blast, praying that it hits. And uh, it does hit. And that's going to be able to bring it all the way down. But unfortunately, it has a sash. And I'm just like, no, please. But it's fine. Smart Strike is going to take down this thing. And uh, unfortunately, Sceptile is going to take a permanent nap. And he's going to get a beast boost. <laughs> so Gyarados is going to come back in. Um, bringing its attack down a little bit. Which is um, always good for me. 
it's only on one HP and I don't want to sack Gyarados off so I'm going to play some games and I'm going to go out into Mandibus uh, Mandibus can take um, a hit and Rocky Helmet can do its job so Leaf Blade comes in uh, nice not very effective damage and we're going to be able to take that out and that's good good stuff for me so massive threat dealt with there and uh, the next guy is going to come in it's Houndoom and it's going to go for a sludge bomb probably predicting something there but I'm just going to go for um, the toxic because I want to get this uh, thing taken care of nice and swiftly there's nothing I can really do to it on my own and uh, I know that recovering is not really going to do too much I was also scared of the nasty plot uh, but I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go out into heat run uh, just in case another sludge bomb or fire move comes my way uh, he actually just goes for a sludge bomb again and that's going to be good for me it means I can stall another turn while this thing starts getting boosted um, while this thing starts taking damage so a switch happens and out comes um, Toxapex once more uh, and I'm going to set up my stealth rocks at this point a little mid game stealth rocks action is never a bad thing there's only three Pokemon remaining but a lot of switching is happening and uh, I don't want to make any silly plays and it was the best thing I had to do so I'm going to switch out into Shinotic and take an incoming Scald and uh, yet again uh, no burn so I'm starting to be like mmm I could have got that Gyarados in but the, now, I know in my luck it would have probably come in and received the uh, Scald that would have got burn and yeah I would have been pretty sad so we take another Scald and don't get burn and uh, yeah Leech Seed pops and we're going to be able to start getting some recovery, wearing that um, Toxapex down, which is never a bad thing. Toxapex is going to run away, and uh, Houndoom's going to come back in, and uh, uh, it's going to take a lot of damage from the Stealth Rocks, and I predict that as well, and I go for the Leech Seed again, just to get this thing seeded, get this thing uh, draining HP left, right, and center. So this turn it took Stealth Rocks, it's also taking Leech Seed and now it's going to take some Poison as well. So Houndoom's not looking too clever. And uh, now I'm going to stall out a turn when I go for the Protect. So it's not going to be able to hurt me. Shadow Ball is revealed and uh, I guess he's making a prediction there. And it's not going to uh, do too much. We're going to chip away at the HP yet again. And now looking at what wants to take a shadow ball or a fire move or a dark move or a poison move uh, I decide that I'm just going to go into heat run as it's the uh, most HP biggest kind of wally guy I've got right now so it's gonna take a shadow ball to the face and uh, that's not gonna do too much because I'm specially invested So things are looking pretty good, I'm going to get that HP back as well and uh, Houndoom's left um, crying to the poison. So it's going to go down and uh, the next one's going to be coming out in a second. So Excadrill comes out again, uh, it's going to take a little bit of chip damage uh, from the Stealth Rocks which is not really going to do too much at all and it's breaking molds. So I don't want to stay in here, I'm going to switch out and I'm going to go into Mandibuzz. Uh, kind of foddering it off at this point just in case uh, but my opponent just goes for the earthquake again which is fantastic and uh, now it will reveal if it is choice and it shows that it is because it doesn't take me out when it could do uh, so now I've got a 100% confirmation that it is choice and uh, I'm able to go for my Bruce get Mandibuzz all the way back up to a nice healthy amount and Toxipex hits the field So Toxpex, not really a problem, uh, just have to work around it. So now I'm going to make a switch again, I'm going to go back out into Shinotic, and um, obviously a Scald's going to come. We're going to take the Scald, does pretty much no damage, and yet again, no burn. All of the, I guarantee 1000% that if I'd have gone into Gyarados, it would have been a burn on the first one. I would have been very upset. But anyway... Uh, Toxpex is going to switch out again and uh, Excadrill is going to come on down. So Excadrill is going to take a little bit more damage 
and uh, I've got protect so I'm gonna see what this thing wants to lock itself into and of course I've got the leech seed up this turn so we're gonna get two turns of health from it which is not bad looking at how much it did pretty nice so we go for the protect see what it locks itself into uh, which is obviously the safest play because then I can play around whatever it wants to do and it tries to rapid spin um, but it's going to lose some HP and uh, now I've got the opportunity I know it's going to go for the rapid spin again but I know that Rocky Helmet uh, can take it out and if a Pokemon dies from Rocky Helmet when it uses rapid spin the secondary effect does not go off so rapid spin's going to come off it's going to do a little bit of damage to us but the recoil kicks in and it's not able to spin away the rocks, which is great for me. Now we've got no way of getting rid of it. And um, not that that was really a big problem at this point in the game. It was just a fun fact to throw out there. I wanted to play around it, play it safe, and it was the best play to make. So Shinotic's going to come back in, and uh, we're going to take another incoming Scald. Yet again, it's going to do like next to no damage. And uh, yet again, no burn. So my opponent's probably frustrated at the lack of burn. Not that it would have done much to Shinotic anyway. It would have just cancelled the leftovers. Uh, but it's just that extra little bit of hacks that you uh, look for when you're trying to use these moves. So Baneful Bunker kicks up. And uh, the stalling process uh, is going to start. At this point, there's nothing left my opponent can do. Uh, so I have got, obviously, the plan to set up my Leech Seed to wear it down and then uh, progress to beat it down. Uh, finally though, the burn kicks off. Uh, too little too late though I think. And uh, we get the seeds up. So that's great for me. And uh, yeah, now I've got the leech seed up. It's pretty much the game's in the bag. Toxpec can't deal out enough damage. I'm on the recovery side. So it's a 100% stall game. So for the remainder of the battle, I'm just gonna hyper speed it up and uh, get to adding the Pokemon to the price stack because uh, it looks pretty inevitable and unfortunately for my opponent it was. So good game Astra and uh, yeah of course that means one more Mon will be added to the price stack for the next challenger. And uh, I think I'm going to add this. So if you've enjoyed this battle or learnt something useful, go ahead and meet and match that like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.